Today on Logan Lee Adventures, I finally made it to South America. Y'all, this is my first time ever being on this continent and in this corner of the world. And we're kicking it off with Colombia. Morning. It is my first day out here in Salento, Colombia. It's actually first day in South America, period. So me and Yeroon flew 14 hours from Istanbul to Bogota. And then last night from Bogota, when we landed, we just took another flight all the way to Pereira, to which we then took a drive down to Solento, which is an hour away. And now we are here in this beautiful town. And I'm going to show you all around. And I really can't wait because it is so like the fact that I am in South America. This is my first time. This is my first new continent in so long. And coming out of just a period where we haven't traveled abroad abroad in so long, it just is revitalizing me. And I can't wait to show you. Like, look, look at this mountains and this palm tree I, mean, I know these are like the most simplest things for like so many people around the world but for me oh my gosh living in the netherlands where it's flat everything i mean i love the netherlands but it's been a while since we've been seeing some landscape and this is beautiful beautiful i love these beautiful houses there's just so much pop of color here. Woo. This is such a first great introduction to Colombia already. I am just living. Salento Quindillo is a historical town with many colors and even more stories with coffee estates that are famous worldwide and lofty wax palm trees reaching sky high in the Cocora Valley. That's exactly where we're off to do first thing in the morning, grabbing one of these bright jeeps in the middle of the town square and then driving off to the Kokora Valley. Big ride, we are taking these jeeps to and from Salento to Kokora Valley and it's such a thrilling ride. And also, I mean, aesthetics? All right, so we are at this mini horse ranch and we are going to be riding horses into Kokora Valley, which is the national park here. And they're getting our horses prepped and ready. Um, but me and Yeroon has, oh, we're ready. Ooh. But me and Yeroon has never ridden any horses before. So this will be our first time riding horses. Yeah, but we will see. And then throw your leg over. No. Oh my gosh. This horse is huge. This is my first time ever getting. So this is our guide. That's you. You can hear my horse galloping. It's a pretty cool adventure. <laughs> all these palms. Literally just going towards into the valley with our horses. Quite a chill way to travel, I must say. I'm actually loving this so much. <laughs> and your room pointed out this is quite a nice point of view to be traveling by horse. So you're so higher up. Look at this. Oh, all these mountains. Kokora was the name of the Quimbayan princess, daughter of the local Akemi and mean star of water. The lush green hills are absolutely spectacular and the ever-changing peaceful ascent gives you constant cool vistas of the valley and the national trees of Colombia, which are these wax palm trees. So for currently so far, our first ever horse riding expedition. <laughs> it's going pretty well. <laughs> I mean, my horse is really hungry, which fair enough. Like I was telling you, Rune, I feel like the horse 
picks the rider and my horse just picked me because I'm a hungry mofo all the time too. But can we just talk about, aside from my beautiful horse, this beautiful valley that we're riding through right now. Goodness, and the palm trees as well. I'm going to show you a bit of a view here. Look at this view. We're going all the way up right now, uphill. Doing it by horseback. So cool. So you can do the Kokora Valley by hiking or you can do it by horseback. Horseback, a little bumpy, but you get this beautiful trail all to yourself since it's for the horse trail. All right, so now we're taking a little break from our horseback riding and we're exploring this beautiful pit stop with all these stunning palm trees. They're like, literally it would be 10 of me stacked on top of each other just to reach one of these palm trees in the Kokora Valley. Top of our horseback riding experience. And you get this. It is absolutely surreal. It just feels so otherworldly here with all these tall palm trees. It just, I mean, like when you picture or what I picture and think of Colombia, this is usually what you think of and see. And then to be here itself is like. I absolutely love that I get to do such a cool activity with someone I love. It's just something that younger me would have really dreamed of and wished of. Just being untethered from what we left behind to go on adventures and explore together this great big world with each other. It just, it just makes me love Yarun even more so. I love how our horses are cool. It is bumpy. <laughs> Yarun and my horses are just galloping around each other. <laughs> This is one of my favorite passage on this trek. I love that we get to cross this running water with our horses. Just hearing the stream is such an exhilarating feeling. Then on the way back, Yurun and I grab a jeep with a bunch of other travelers heading to Salento. We didn't want to sit back down inside the jeep, so we opted for standing, holding ourselves against the open back of the jeep as it jets through the Colombian countryside. It's literally like toppling from side to side of the jeep, but it's so fun. <laughs> For hearty Colombian, traditional Colombian food, look no further than Recon Lucy, which is just right in Salento town. So we're back from our adventures of the day. We're starting the meal with some soup. They have a menu, the Via, that has some pretty spectacular stuff coming up. Some like picante. This trucha here, this fish, is what they are known for. There's some lentils here.
wrapping up this evening with a game of Trejo, which is this Colombian game that sounds and smells like gunpowder. Uh, I'm gonna explain how to play it. This guy is prepping our grounds right now. Rin, rin. Importante, siempre rin, rin. It's a pretty sick venue. This is an open factory to play the game and each person get their own little section as well. I don't know how far I have to go. Oh! Alright, here's my first throw. What you doing? <laughs> it's so embarrassing, everyone's looking at me. <laughs> yeah, of course. So Jeroen got a point because his is fully in and he's struggling to get it out now. <laughs> hit a triangle. Ooh, look at that smoke. Just like how Yurun did it. Then you get a gunpowder. And it actually smells and sounds like something that has been shot. What the heck? It's Calais Real, which is the liveliest, vibrant street in Salento. So up and down the street, it's early hours, so not many people have come here yet. But in the evenings and later on the day, it will be packed. And this whole street continues on with the colorful colors of Salento. Salento just cease, never ceases to amaze me. I just love the colors here. And it really feels like real life Enchanto. He's seen the Disney movie. He literally just watched the last slide. Love. One of the biggest things that Colombia is known for is coffee. So coffee and we're here in the coffee region. So of course that means that we gotta go to a coffee farm and then do some tasting, which is where me and Yurun are headed right now. And already we're heading into the more countryside of Salento and it is stunning. the coffee plantation it's so cool especially this organic farm and just i'm learning so much about coffee it's oh, incredible now if you sorry if you have a hundred kilos of coffee cherry arabica coffee okay now what happened was the king of france was given a few got about a hundred uh, and they're just starting to produce. It's going to happen at the moment, okay? But what will happen is the coffee's going to start to change colour, okay? Now, heat right off now. It's cooking in its own its own heat. Yeah. Sour coffee from yeah. Chocolate, chocolate latte coffee. It's like... subjective. It depends on the individual, to be perfectly honest. Right. Now, listen. Uh, uh, yeah, I say, if any of you need a new... This is the queso, aka cheese, that would go into. Is this chocolate milk? No, coffee. No, it's sugar milk. Oh, chocolate milk. Okay. So apparently, this is a local dish of the region. Put a little cheese into it. And you mix it until the cheese melts. I hope it melts. Yeah, I hope it melts too. <laughs> Look at this arepa uh, con queso. And this is patacon con reyes, which is this plantain dish with beef. Stretch the cheese out front. Ooh, that is good.
got a little ice cream break. I got a coconut ice cream. Look how funny, funky it is. It's, in, it's literally a square. <laughs> mm. Mm, so tasty too. All right, I'm on top of the Jeep again. Well, not really on top. I'm just hanging off of it. And we're getting ready for our next trip to Valendia, which is apparently one of the towns where Disney's Enchanto was inspired by. Okay, here we go. Another Jeep adventure. So it's a popular way of transportation between Salento and the nearby area. We're off on a mini trip within a trip to Valendia. Have arrived in Valendia. Look at this beautiful, gorgeous church here. It's another small colonial town in the coffee region of Colombia. We're gonna explore around, soak up the beautiful architecture and colorfulness of everything, and then see what Valendia has to offer. Valendia is a gobsmacked right in the middle of Colombia's coffee-making axis, surrounded by lush rolling hills and all the charms of a traditional coffee town. It's only 20 kilometers from Salento, but we already feel so much closer to nature here, probably because of views like this. I feel like I'm in Encanto already. Ask me that. Do I feel like it? Because I'm about to burst into song while here. Well, I don't really know the lyrics, but loving it. <laughs> now, this is what I call a view. Follow the butterflies up to this beautiful top. The Encanto Cafe, gorgeous. Love that. Love it here. This has been an absolutely thrilling first entryway into South America and Colombia. It was many firsts. First horsebacking ride, first time eating yummy Colombian food, and first time playing Tejo. All I know is these won't be the last time either. And we're just getting started with our adventures in this lovely country. So if you haven't already, click subscribe, give this video a like, and leave a comment below. In the next video, we will continue our adventures through Colombia, and you bet I'll be taking you along with me for the adventure.